Well, it's a sad moment because a lot of these magazines simply won't be able, no matter how, what the editorial product, no matter what the graphic product, they won't be able to survive because the economy has shifted, the means of advertising has shifted, and all the things that used to support magazines in a commercial way have basically discovered that there are more effective ways of selling products. As a result of that, regardless of the quality of the product, the fact that they live or die is not dependent on issues of quality, it's dependent on their appropriateness as an advertising medium. That's sad, but it also is true that it is inevitable that forms change, and you have to respond to the change in form. I mean, uh, before there was television, there was no such thing as television advertising. As a result of that, print was much more dominant. Right. Once television became a force in human culture, everything changed. And now the internet has come along, television has been so modified by that, and every technological and social change produces different environments for opportunities. So I'm personally sad about print because I love print, I love magazines, I love the form, I love the texture, I love everything else about it. But I recognize that there's inevitability in human progress and there's no use you know, crying about it. That's the change that has already happened. It's true and it, it's probably different now and I still find I love to draw, I love to physically produce prints, I love to do all those things that are old fashioned but you have to find out a way of continuing to do those things. And there'll be a long way, uh, time before those are totally eliminated from human consciousness. I, I have to say, I embrace what is inevitable. So one must recognize that change is here. I also used to be, uh, people misunderstand my relationship to culture. They think I hate computers, I love computers. But I love them only for people who have already developed a sense of form. The computer is a dangerous tool for people that don't have a sense of form, which is because it is so dominant, because it so possesses people's consciousness and they can't think without the computer. The great benefit of people of another generation is that the thought process has already been developed, the sense of form has already developed, so they can really exploit the computer as an instrument, whereas people who don't have that experience are dominated by the computer and the computer is the instrument that determines the form that they employ. That's a much greater limitation. I do but I never touch it. <laughs>